What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to talk about affirmations for positive thinking and how to just generally be positive throughout your day. And I'm going to give you some examples of positive affirmations that are going to set you up for an excellent day every single day. If you implement these, let's get into it. So a lot of these affirmations are just ones that I personally enjoy. I've come across over the years and that have just stuck out in my mind. So I'm going to run through five affirmations for positive thinking and I hope that you actually find some of these resourceful. I'm going to briefly explain each one um, because they can be interpreted different ways and at different times in your life. And that's what makes really good affirmations good is because they can be interpreted differently when you read them at different times in your life. So if you're experiencing, you know, different stuff, you can always come back to them and, and revisit them and, and acquire something new from them. So let's kick things off. So the first one is I'm strong. I'm prepared. This is easy. So anytime you're feeling challenged or you have some difficulty ahead of you in that particular day or in the coming days, weeks, months, whatever it may be, just affirm to yourself, I am strong, I'm prepared, and this is easy. And it, personally, I like to use the EZ version for easy because it's just extra easy that way. So you always affirm, I'm strong, I'm prepared, and this is easy. This is pie for me. That's very positive, affirming thought that you can you can express to yourself so that's number one number two this is one I really enjoy and I can't quite remember who this came from but yeah it was an author and a speaker and uh, you know a really really great individual but the quote is or the affirmation is I'm not fucking no don't mind him the quote is I'm not fucking around or you can say today I'm not fucking around or I'm not fucking around today and you affirm this to yourself basically say I am not messing around with what I'm doing on this particular day or this particular task, whatever it may be, you wake up in the morning and it does away with weakness because you say, I'm not fucking around. I'm not having that today. I'm sorry. And if you have a little weak thought, it's a very simple affirmation that says, I'm not having it. It's just not, it's not to be had. So I love that one. It's really simple. And I say it all the time. Actually, I just say it in passing anything I'm doing. It's like, I'm not fucking around. I'm not fucking around with this. Very great affirming positive thought so our next one and it kind of follows suit with I'm not fucking around but it's stop being a little bitch and for that I like to use LIL for little so stop being a little bitch and it's funny Joe Rogan if you're familiar with the Joe Rogan podcast has one that's conquer your inner bitch this is very similar to that and it has to do with not fucking around so stop being a little bitch anytime I'm upset about something it's funny, actually, my wife, she, she kind of throws that at me now and then. Anytime I'm complaining about something or I'm upset about something, she's like, well, you know, you could continue to do all that complaining or stop being a little bitch. Sometimes she says it and I actually get a little, I get a little heated, but I'm like, you know what? She's right. That's why I love her. She's right. <laughs> stop being a little bitch. Grow up. Man up. Step up. All of it. So, that's number three. Number four is no one cares work harder now that's simply that's pretty straightforward to me that's no one cares about what you're doing what you've done no one cares about your upset thoughts no one cares about your depression no one cares at all which is a kind of a depressing thought to begin with but this is the point of affirmations because you need to stand strong on your own as a strong independent creative powerful individual in this world and in order to do that you may have a support system you may have people that love and care about you but you want to affirm no one cares work harder because it's going to push you to do better for you, which is the most important part. That's number four. Number five, I love this one too, and it's kind of a Zen koan. Sever the edge between before and after. Now, that one's really nice because we humans have this tendency to think that the before and after have this big, huge gap between them, right? So you want to achieve a, let's get, make it some stuff. So you want to achieve some crazy muscular physique. And now there's a before and there's an after to that. After is the, the visualization of the muscular physique. Before is where you're currently at. People seem to think there's this huge gap between those things. If you want to have a million dollars, here's the million dollars. Here's what you're at right now. And you seem to think there's a huge gap there. Now there's a, there's actually a very um, popular, well, it's popular amongst uh psychology community, I guess you could say, but it's a, it's a Jungian concept, and that is your highest good and your future self 
beckons to you in the present. So you have that jacked muscular version of yourself. You have that millionaire version of yourself in the future. It's not too far off. It's just separated by time and patience. And now it beckons to you. It calls you. So now it's up to you to sever the edge between before and after. Sever the gap. Make it so that they're instant. Now. Now. Always now. And when you affirm everything is in the now, then you start to acclimate to it now. When you start to think of past, present, and future too much, you start to push things away from yourself. So you need to acclimate to them in the present, and you say, I'm always this way in this now, in this now. So you sever the edge between before and after, you claim it in this now, and you move forward immediately in the direction of achieving or attaining that which you have outwardly projected as your goal. So I hope this is informative to you. That's five affirming thoughts, five positive thoughts you can carry with you five affirmations that you can use throughout the day, throughout your life. I hope they were helpful. Dante barked a few times in this video. That's it. Catch you again in the next one.